Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Will here with another one. And as you saw in that intro, it's snowing here. Snowing pretty pretty hard for Charlotte. We don't usually get much snow around these parts. Anyway, so I'm not really doing anything on the car today just because of the weather. But uh, yesterday I changed my transmission fluid. Now, in the 328s from 2007 until, I guess, 2012 in Coupe models, or 2013 in Coupe models actually, use a General Motors transmission and uh, I forgot the exact designation of it. I'll put some text of that um, down below, but it's something like GL45R or something like that. Anyway, so um, it's a little different on the 335s and on the 330s from 2006, but uh, it's a pretty easy, straightforward job to change the fluid. Uh, I did try to film it, but it just really didn't come out well for a number of reasons. One of them being I couldn't get the drain bolt out, so I actually wound up dropping the whole pan with the fluid in it, which just created a huge mess. But uh, it was just, you know, you, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Um, but anyway, let's get right into this DIY, and uh, I'll explain how I did it. I'll show some pictures that came out well and any footage that might have turned out well, too. And uh, kind of show you guys what to do. This is something I highly recommend doing. BMW does state lifetime fluids. Now, someone on a Facebook group said a really insightful thing. They said, basically, it's only, we can call it lifetime fluid if the car is going to go to the scrapyard at 100,000 miles. But... My car just hit 100,000 miles, and it's nowhere near time to go scrap this thing. This car is in great shape, and just, so it's time to change the fluid, and boy, let me tell you, it made a difference. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. The first thing you're going to want to do is jack your car up. I, I don't have a low-profile jack, so I actually had to run the car up onto blocks to get it high enough to get under it. So once you get it up, you're going to notice that you have your main uh, plastic cover that's underneath the engine with a smaller one behind it. That covers your transmission and it's held in by a few 8 millimeter sockets. You'll want to remove all of these bolts and then unclip the plastic sheet to expose the transmission pan. Now on the back of the transmission on the side, towards the rear diff, you will see a 17 millimeter fill bolt and when you remove this, fluid will spill over so have your oil catch can ready. Because some oil will spill over when the car is not running, approximately 2 quarts. Then at your next point, you're going to want to move your when that stops draining, you're going to want to move it over to underneath your drain bolt. This should be a 5mm Allen bolt or hex bit. And, uh, like, I had problems with it. It stripped out immediately and didn't turn at all, so I actually wound up dropping the whole pan with the fluid in, which was just a huge disaster. At that point, once all your fluid is gone, you'll see 17 10 millimeter bolts lining the transmission pan, and you'll want to remove every one of these. And then pull the pan down and clean it out very well. It'll go from being like a dark gray, almost black color, to being light gray, almost silver. Then you'll look up and you will see like a metal, flat metal plate hanging down, and this is your transmission filter. Give it a nice good tug, and it will come right out. Just pull it on out. It might not bring the metal o-ring with it. For that, you might want a long flathead screwdriver and kind of just bend it, break it out. And so after that, you'll want to put the new gasket onto your pan, make sure it's clean, like I said, and then put the pan back on and begin filling up through the fill bolt using a pump. I bought one at AutoZone that's about 10 bucks, a uh, pretty good thing, it just kind of gets tiresome. You'll get approximately four quarts in before it starts to spill over. I got about three and a half. And at that point, you're going to want to turn your car on with the transmission fill bolt still open and begin pumping even more and you'll probably get around another two quarts in. So I got about five and a half quarts in before it started overflowing. It does call for six, but if it starts overflowing, then what can you do? My car shifts amazing compared to how it did before. It was really begging for this service. So once you've done that, just put the fill bolt back in and you are ready to enjoy your freshly changed transmission. And if you're anything like me, you will notice a huge difference. I mean, 100,000 miles on the original fluid, you, you'll notice a difference. Uh, if you're at lower mileage, you may not notice as much of a difference, but this is really a service I recommend doing. Uh, I'd probably go ahead and recommend every 50,000 miles, to be honest. Um, you could probably go a little further than that. I mean, I went almost double that but I don't recommend doing almost double that. So anyway guys, if you found this video informative, help you out, if you're planning on doing this to your car, uh, go ahead and leave a like, drop a comment, and if you're new, subscribe to the channel. 
we have all kinds of DIYs coming. Uh, as soon as it's suitable time for me, I'm going to go ahead and get the suspension on here. And I am going to go ahead and invest in a low profile jack because it's just too much of a pain running the car up on blocks, trying to get it to stay still. So I, I think that's something I'll be investing in soon. I'll kind of do a review on that, give a more in-depth tutorial on how to jack up these cars because it's not as straightforward as, as it is in some other cars. But uh, it's by no means anything difficult, it's just something else. Anyway, like I said, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.